I've done videos on patterns in Photoshop. I want to show you guys how to use patterns and get glitter text in Publisher. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert Word Art. You all know I like to use Word Art. I prefer Word Art. I'm just going to select any option. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to make this look kind of pretty. Let's do um, author. Do I want author font? Yeah. And I love author font. It's really nice. I also like Ardilla. I would have chose that one too. I'm going to expand it out so it can see it. All right, this does not look good that big. Let's go ahead and change the text. Sometimes in Publisher, you'll notice that um, certain texts just don't look good. If they're not like a TTF font, I believe, true type font, they just don't turn out well. Let me go grab our Dilla. Really? You're not going to give me the good stuff, Ardilla? Um, Ardilla is a script font. Don't know why I did that. Let's see. What's the chocolate dual say look like? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, awesome. So this shape has effects on it, obviously. Let me go ahead and turn them off real quick just because I don't want to see them for the purpose of this tutorial. But I do want to use word art, so just make sure everything is off and I don't want to outline right now so if I wanted to do this and make glitter text what I would do is shape fill picture and we're going to do it two different ways we're going to browse and I'm going to pull up some digital paper that I've purchased I saved it on my Dropbox and it's just basically um, I purchased it from Etsy. If you watched my other videos, you would know that I purchased it from Etsy. It, her name was Allegra Creatives, and she is she had like a hundred papers, a hundred glitter papers for a dollar. So I purchased them, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull in. And if you purchased or if you save some type of glitter paper, this is pretty much what you would do. I'm gonna go find it on my computer. I think it's in my recent files. That would be a little quicker for me to find it than going through my Dropbox. Yep, there it is. Okay, so um, I'll link to where I purchased these from, but I'm just going to use the glitter one. And there you have glitter text. Just that easy. Another way to do is shape fill. Picture. Browse through Bing. We'll do gold glitter background. I prefer to use papers a bit more when I do publisher because you don't have as much um, leeway with the manipulation. Let's do this one right here. Insert that. So you have glitter text. And if you make this a little See why I like to use the um the papers? It just looks a little better to me, but still, you have glitter text. You can um, play around with that. And if I wanted to have like a glitter background, say this was my chip bag, all I would do is I would go and I would grab that same background or whatever image I would want to do use. If I found it on Google and I saved it or if I have it saved to my computer, and I would just bring it in and I would drag and drop it. And now I have like a glitter background. So yeah, I'm gonna send this to the back. Let me actually open up one that is maybe um something that I could use to show you guys. Yeah, suppose you're doing a paper cup, right? and um let that open okay so suppose you're doing a paper cup or you have an active shape all you'll need to do is do format shape fill picture it's the same thing because word art is basically a shape 
same thing. From the file, or you would browse the Bing. I just like to use Papers and Publisher again, just because I can kind of work with it better. Um, and they just seem to be, the, the look comes out to be the same. So I click the wrong thing, so I'm just going to go over Shape, Fill, Picture, from a File, Browse. And we're going to do my quick access, because I know I've already used it. They go to my recents. And I'm just going to insert that and double click it. Boom. So let me take this. And let's go ahead and ins um, let me go to my other one that I was on, my other document. And I'm going to grab my name here. And this is the same if you want to do full, like if you want a um, polka dot, anything like that, that's a pattern that you can think of. You can do the same exact steps. Um, this is just like how I like to work with. I'm going to copy and paste this here. And I'm going to change my name to have a different color. Um, a different color of the glitter. So we'll go shape fill again. Picture. Browse. Uh, let's find something else. Find a new color. Okay, so we have gold background. Let's use some pink. Well, let's just go with purple. There it is. So that's how you would do it in um, Publisher. I'm using the most recent Microsoft Cloud Publisher. And if you don't have these options, you can do about the same way. I believe the old publisher, you still do Word out with a shape fill. And again, I just don't know if you have like the browsing capability, but very easy very fun. You can insert shapes. You can use patterns. You can do a lot of stuff with digital papers. Um, you can go online and save them. You can do a search for maybe like gold glitter background and you'll have things like this come up. Um, you could do a search for gold glitter digital paper. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but you know, you'll have all these results when you do a search for gold glitter digital paper. Um, they sell a lot on Etsy. They sell them on Hungry JPEG Creative Market. Lots of different places you can get different patterns, different clip art. So have fun. Get creative. Use your patterns. Use your clip art. Use your digital papers, guys, and enjoy yourself. Let me know what you make. Tag me or, you know, the Facebook group. Come join and show me, show off. And um, happy selling. I hope this really, I'm um, happy creating. I hope that this brings great joy to your business and that you can implement some new things to grow your brand. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and join me on Facebook. Talk to you later.